Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to perform canonical regression analysis using using R programming. So let's start. First of all, we have to open R programming R program and have to open a new script after opening a new script uh, now we have to import our data set to import our data set To import our data set, we use this code. Uh, here, this part is your file location, and this is your file name. So enter your uh, file location here and file name here and complete complete the code here df is my data set so let's run here you can see my data set uh, first id father's education mother's education income spin dsr jsc ssc and acc so i have here I have uh, and other variable academic awards. So this is my data set. I am going to find canonical regression from this data set and uh, I have here I have three independent variable father's income mother's income sorry father's education mother's education and income these three are my independent variable and others uh, jsc ssc ecc and academic hours these four are my dependent variable so now i am going to show you how to Now <clears throat> I have to define define the independent and dependent variable. So here uh, father's education is x1, mother's education x2, income is x3. So I have to define this variable as matrix form so uh, first of all i want to define x1 that's it and x2 and x3 so let's run the program so it's here uh, this is x1 x1 that means this is father's education so there is my first independent variable this is the second independent variable mother's education and uh, final part and third independent variable is income so here's the income now i have to define define dependent variable so here dependent variable is this result SSC result, ACC result, and academic rewards. 
suppose JC result is Y1, SSC Y2, SSC Y3, and academic hours is Y4. So let's define them. So there it is. Um, run this. Uh, I run this program, and I get uh, my four dependent variable y1, y2, y3, and y4. So this is the part I uh, define my dependent and independent variable, and now I have to combine them in a matrix form. So uh, for combining them into a matrix form, I define my uh, independent variable as economic condition that is EC and dependent variable as academic performance so here we are going to um, uh, find the canonical relation or canonical regression between economic condition and performance uh, academic of academic performance of the students so here we have to bind them into matrix form so uh, first of all ec is the economic condition so let's run the program as the ec is economic condition there's a dimension 25 by 3 25 by 3 and again academic performance there's a 25 by 4 that means uh, we have 25 students and uh, the dependent variable is 4 and uh, in economic condition there's 25 students and 3 independent variable so this is the um, this is our matrix form of dependent and independent variable now we have to standardize them or convert into standard normal um, for our analysis so to convert into standard normal form we use uh, this so here's <coughs> the standardized result of dependent variable and independent variable now uh, we have to find the block correlation matrix that means r1 r11 r12 r22 r21 finding the block correlation matrix we use uh, the function uh, cor and uh, here r1 r11 means correlation Uh, correlation uh, of x here uh, r1 uh, we use r11 r22 r21 and r12 so let's find them So this is our uh, block correlation. So R1, uh, R11 is this and R22, R12 and uh, R21. Here T means transpose. If we transpose R12 then we get R21. So that's why we transpose R12 using T function. Uh, this is our block correlation matrix. And now we have to find the value E1, E2. So finding the value E1, E2, we use this. We use this code here R11, R12, R22, R21 are the broke correlation 
and again e2 in e2 r2 2 r2 1 r1 1 r1 2 are the block correlation so let's run the program so there it, uh, it is the value of e1 and e2 we get the value of e1 and e2 now we have to find the eigenvalues of e1 and e2 so simply we can find eigenvalues uh, like using eigen eigen e1 eigen e2 so let's run so here's the eigenvalue of e1 and e2 uh, that's the values eigenvalues and that's the eigenvectors so here eigenvalues are these first eigenvalues and uh, eigenvalues of e2 this is the eigenvalue of e2 and eigenvector is here and now we can find the canonical correlation simply we can find the canonical correlation to uh, to find canonical correlation we uh, use this uh, function is square team that means square root square root of eigenvalue and uh, if we square root the eigenvalues and then uh, use this code we can find the eigen uh, we can find the canonical correlation 